gloves, got a mixing cup, got resin, got a gigantic bag of cotton balls. I think we are set to go. A couple reasons why we're using the art resin. First off, it's really not a casting resin, which means it's not really supposed to be made into blocks. But it also has the least amount of chemical reaction to it, which means I think that if I pour it in this large amount, it's not going to overheat like some other resins will. I'm just gonna add the cotton balls directly to the resin. Hey, hon, I can't grab any more. So you would want you, me to put more in Would there? you mind putting some more in there? Lots? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, and I also spilled a whole bunch over here. So what do I need to do with that? Um, can you put some on top of it and I'll sop them up? Just put a handful over there. Perfect. Looks like dough. All right, but I'm not sure. I definitely gonna need some more resin. Oops. Don't you think? Yes. Are you, what are you going for? A bowl. Oh, that's seven oh, ounces, wow. isn't it? All right, so we'll do another seven ounces. Ish. The other reason I wanna do the art resin is that it's got such a long open time. You can zoom back a little bit. The whole thing is just slick with resin. I can't even hold onto the container. It's just slopping around in my hand. <laughs> so I pushed the cotton balls in, mm -hmm. thinking that they would absorb the resin, right. and they didn't. They just slopped it all out on the table. This is gross. <laughs> oh, that's why it's all over the table. That's why it's all over the table and all over the cup. And oh, it's okay. making little resin bubbles. Can you see that? Oh, is that bad for us? I thought you are not supposed to eat it. Well. Right? I don't know. Don't eat it then. It's just a tiny little bubble floating in the air. Okay. Look at that. Oh. No fumes, low odor, non-flammable, no VOCs. Doesn't say edible. Well, <laughs> Does it? No, it doesn't. You're right. So now we are at 24 ounces of resin and a mess of cotton balls. You know what this reminds me of now? Is there those honey breads? You ever seen those where they're like all stuck together and you take off little bits of them and you cover the whole thing in honey? Oh, are you talking about the donut hole trees? It's like the donut hole trees? Is that what they're called? I, think, oh, I don't know if that's what they're called. Oh my gosh, look at that. It just soaked it all up. I mean... So more resin? Or more resin, apples? right? Well, look at it. It's just soaked it up. We need more resin. Is it all soaked? Is it all in there? It's I don't know. The bottom. Oh no. It's it looks like it's all... There's like yeah. nothing in the bottom. Big old pile. How many cotton balls in there? 140. And we've used most of them. Yes. Cool. Do you we want should more? just use them all. That might be big. Is it gonna oh, be you're hard? probably right. You're probably right. That's probably stupid. Well, I was just, just because I'm worried it'll pour over. Yeah. All right. Well, let's add like four more. One, two, three, four. One. Oh my gosh. Two. Yeah. Three. Nice. Four. Oh, Five. <gasps> Doesn't that just make you hungry? No. <laughs> a little cotton ball and resin dinner. Yeah. Talk about cotton mouth. Oh. That's like it feels like it is. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, if it's not mixed, you'll have soft spots. Which actually might be kind of neat. But when you go to turn it, won't it be fluff? Yeah, which actually might be kind of neat. Now, I'm all out of art resin. There's a little left We're in the bottom of the away, right? container here. We're going to throw the cotton ball away? We haven't even made no. it yet. Why would we throw it away? <laughs> People like them. I'll keep them. I meant the bottles. Yeah, of course we're going to throw them away. Because can't we just do this? Ah. That. Okay. We just... still... Yeah, we totally can. I just let it pour. Look at There's another, so far, two ounces. Okay. Which means you're going to get another four ounces oh, of unbelievable. resin. That's a lot. That is, okay. isn't it? It totally is. Watch out. It's huh? messy. You gonna stir it? Oh, I was going to. Good, perfect. You're in charge. I'm just gonna put my hands on my hips, but then my hips will be covered with rhythm. <laughs> There's bubbles again. Can't cover my face when I'm stirring. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. This is mixed. Whenever we feel like it is. Do I get a gut sense or? Yeah, totally. Do you have it yet? Yeah, because I don't want to swallow any more bubbles. Perfect, let's pour it then. Nice. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we decided okay. to do that. So yeah, I think that's 
good. It feels wet on the outside. That's it feels disgusting. like. Oh, wait, here. It's been about two hours since we poured the resin. I just picked this up to move it, and it's incredibly hot on the bottom. And I just wanted to see. All right, it is up to 148 degrees. How much is it? 148. Oh. Yeah, so it is definitely heating up. If this had been anything other than that art resin, I think it probably would have failed just because of the volume of resin that we put in. Yeah. That came out clean. Ooh. Look at that. We got a pretty good cast. It definitely looks like cotton balls in resin to me. You see my new lathe station sign from Tim Sway? Perfect for the shop. Thanks, Tim. It is really, really grabby. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it over in the chuck case. It's gonna be a really shallow bowl. It's gonna end up being a pretty shallow bowl, so it shouldn't take a long time to turn. But uh, I think it's gonna, I have a funny feeling it's gonna fight me. I can't put the tripod on the table because the whole table shakes. And if I move, if I put the tripod far enough away so it's not on the table, it's not close enough to be seen. Okay. Would you mind doing some camera work? Well, now I am. Okay, here I we don't, go. No idea what I think, so. Maybe I just need a new lathe. Maybe. Let me try to move your hand. Because I think it. No, no, you. No. Out of the frame. I think I. It's got a basic bowl shape. The bench looks insane. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. These are all the attempts. Don't use that, don't use that, don't use that, don't use that, use this. So I knew there were gonna be some voids, but I didn't expect this many of them. This is actually impeding the turning process. The tools are getting stuck in the holes and they're grabbing, and resin's already grabby enough without having giant holes in it. Come on, camera woman. You're gonna get a dock and pay. Um, What's your pay right now? <laughs> Zero. Oh man, nothing, nowhere to go but up from here. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. You move a lot. My gosh, here, you do it. <laughs> I don't have gloves on. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> That is turning so smooth. That's the way it's supposed to be. Too many holes in my resin, I guess. Yes, I'm super happy. 
that looks good. And um, do I round over the edges or leave them craggly? Yeah, 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 I think that was important. It definitely makes it more shallow, but it, it, it makes it better. Long story short, I decided to turn the bottom with my donut chuck, and I figured I'd just do that off camera since it's not really interesting. My donut chuck chucked itself and this piece across the room. My only regret is that I didn't have it on film. So I sanded off the tenon with this grinding stone on my Dremel, and now I'm wet sanding the whole thing. Probably up to, I don't know, four or 600 grit, depending on what it looks like. But you don't have to watch that. I promise I won't skip anything else exciting. Some things are made because they're useful, and some things are made for their intrinsic beauty, and some things are made because a lunatic wants to say, look at my cotton ball bowl. Cotton and resin together make a super hard material that looks a lot like stone, because natural stone has these gaps and voids in it, and that's exactly what you get with the cotton ball bowl. It's a really pretty piece and you can put something in it. I mean, you can't eat out of a resin bowl. It's not good for you. Even a resin with as low toxicity as art resin. And I think this material has a lot of possibilities. If you were to say, dye the resin pigments and have that soak into the cotton, it, would, it wouldn't soak in uniformly. I think that would look really cool too. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you in the new year.